Hi everyone, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with a brand new cookie decorating tutorial. Today we're going with the under the sea theme. We're going to make uh, starfish and scallop cookies. Now let's dive right in. First, we have to make the background. Um, and to do that, I'm using two shades of blue. You can op also option for like an aqua or a teal color. Just make sure that you have two shades. And I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing. We're going to blend these colors together and I'm using a palette knife. Palette knife works really well because first of all, it's so much faster than a scribe tool. And it also uh, makes the icing flow nicer, like a free flowing icing. So once you're done doing that, we can create bubbles. To make the bubbles, I'm using white oil icing, and this is also 15 second consistency here. And I didn't really plan where I'm going to put the bubbles. It's just very random here and there. You can uh, pipe them in groups if you want to do that. Now we are adding some blue. I I'm using the same blue I used for the bottom base keeping a dot of blue in the middle of each white dot. And to finish the bubbles, we're going to add reflection. I'm piping a white dot on the edge of blue. Just make sure that the, you are positioning your dots in the same direction on all of the bubbles. So if you're starting at the top, place the, top, place the dot on the top. Now let that dry, and once it's dry, we can trace the outline of starfish onto the cookie. I just used a simple cardstock template and a small pin, or you can use a scribe. Now we're outlining, and after this, I'm going to increase the pressure and fill this section with uh, 15 second consistency royal icing. This is um, light brown. You can also use ivory royal icing if that's all you have. And I'm going to uh, use my scribe to smooth everything. And after that, we have to let this dry again. And then we can add some texture, which is really fun. I love the texture part. It really um, takes this design to a new level. So now to create the texture, I'm using about piping consistency real icing. And this icing, ideally, if you can, make it slightly lighter than your base. Or you can use the same color, but I, I really like that um, when it's lighter, it really just shows a um, little differently because the underneath icing is darker. Now I'm using a very coarse brush here that I al always don't just use with the food. And you want to dab it, creating this nice texture. Now the last step, we're going to decorate the arms. And for this, I'm using, this is about 20 second consistency white oil icing. Just going around, piping the dots, and there. Now the second design is uh, super popular scallop. Again, I'm using a scribe to trace the outlines. This is going to be a little more uh, time consuming because we have to decorate each section separately. And since these are so small and I don't want to have any cratering in my icing, I'm piping a zigzag line in the middle. This is going to act like a support line. Let it crust for about 20 seconds, uh, 20 seconds, <laughs> 20 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe sometimes even in 10 minutes it will be crusted. So uh, you just want to check that it's not wet. That's all you need. It, uh, it, if, it's, if it's not wet, if it's not shiny and it has a crust, you're ready to go. Now we're going to um, outline and flood each section individually. Make sure that you let each section crust before you add the section next to it. This way icing is not going to blend together and there will be really nice uh, definition and you'll get really nice groups between the sections. Very important when using thicker icing like this, 50, uh, 20 to 25 second consistency is to um, use your scribe and really try to like agitate the icing use the sewing motion to get rid of any bumps any spikes in there and also don't go too deep with your scribe because you can dislodge that uh, support line that you piped in the beginning let that dry and now i decided to paint my scallop with purple edible food paint so here in my palette i've got 
uh, food coloring that I uh, mixed with Everclear or you can use vodka. And in my dropper, I have clear alcohol, same alcohol, Everclear or vodka works. And I'm just going to paint my dry icing. I'm concentrating on the grooves, making them slightly darker. And there. You can also have a paper towel on hand to kind of get rid of any excess liquid if there is too much of, of it on your brush. And here are the finished cookies. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. For more uh, tutorials from the mermaid theme, you can also find these in my paid group on Patreon. I'm putting a picture here so you guys can see what you can expect. There are tons of tutorials there that you can um, explore and learn new things. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. And um, I will see you next time. Until then, have a great one.